You may have seen headlines like these recently. This is the planet we're talking about, K218b, and this is what we know about it. Its diameter is more than twice that of Earth, and its mass is about nine times bigger. It orbits a dim little red dwarf star that lies about 124 light years away, at a distance where liquid water could possibly exist on its surface. It's in a region around its star that astronomers call the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Recently, a group of astronomers said they had found biosignatures on the planet, potential signs of life. They said it's the strongest evidence of life that's ever been found. We have found evidence for possible biological activity on an exoplanet. We have found signs of biosignature molecules, both of which are produced uniquely by life here on Earth. They found it using the James Webb Space Telescope, which has an instrument that is specifically used to search for such molecules. So this all sounds pretty amazing, right? Well, before you think of little green people running around, we're talking about algae. Scientists said that they found two specific gases that here at home are only produced by marine phytoplankton, algae. But did they really find life? Not so fast, say many astronomers. It's important to follow the scientific method and get things right. There needs to be a model independent confirmation that we see something. Let me explain how planetary scientists actually look for life on other planets. They use a method called spectroscopy, where they analyze the light that passes through the atmosphere of the planet as it crosses in front of its star. They check for dips in intensity at specific wavelengths, and that can tell them what kind of gases are in the air of that planet. It basically shows shows up as squiggly lines in the data. Hold on to that information for a second. Following the initial study, a planetary scientist did an independent analysis of the data using a different method and found no traces of biosignatures, no squiggly lines in the data, just a flat line, meaning there wasn't enough evidence to support the claim of life on the planet. It's a good first step in this sort of endeavor. This is a spectral range we've never seen before. So just that in itself is pretty cool. We definitely would need more observations to like get a better signal. And who knows, it might pop out. It might be that. It's just right now, the signal to noise ratio is not definitive. While it might be a bit of a bummer, that same scientist said that we can't rule out the possibility of life on K to 18b. It's just that the evidence isn't there in this study. We want to believe, but we want to do it correctly. So hold on, we might yet find life on this far off world.